Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I'd like to talk about Kingston's 4TB M2 SSD. The model is SNV2S. This is a 4TB version and it's quite affordable considering the capacity. Don't get me wrong, you can buy 2TB, 1TB and 1.5TB models of the same series. But the reason that I'm going to be talking about 4TB in this video it's about your PlayStation 5 and your media consumption and also Ultrabooks, uh, next-gen notebooks. Because let's just talk straight here. PlayStation 5 comes with SSD size of 825 gigabytes, not even a terabyte really. So it's a problem. You know what? Because after the operation systems, uh, including space, let's just get rid of it, we have only got 670 gigabytes of space, which means we can only install three or four big games such as Call of Duty Black Ops, Spider-Man, Mike and Morales, and Last of Us 2, Red Dead Redemption 2, maybe Ghost of Tsushima, like four or five games, let's just say that. And then we are going to be depleting our PlayStation 5's internal storage. When we deplete the storage, console will get slower. Don't get uh, don't forget about this. If an SSD drive gets less than 10% of its space, or it's it's also for the mechanical drive to, drives too, so if you deplete your hard drive capacity less than 10%, then there's no actually caching space, at least not enough space for caching, then the speed decrease huge amount. So, if you want to keep the speed up, you also give 10% of space. That's also an issue. So, if you want a good PlayStation 5 performance, I recommend this SSD series at least two terabytes or four terabytes. And the price is decent. You might be thinking about, hey, this SSD is only 3,500 megabyte per second, which is quite slow considering the PlayStation 5 internals, which means PlayStation 5 internals, I remember it was 5,000 to 7,000 megabyte per second. So, it's about two times, not two times, but 1.5 times faster than this. You might be thinking about this, but waiting for four seconds a game or six seconds, what do you lose for two seconds? You get huge amount of capacity rather than waiting to download the game. Just wait for a second. Digest this. You have to wait for downloading a game if you don't have the space so you don't you haven't downloaded you want to if you want to play the game you have to first download it this type of big capacity m2 ssds will improve huge amount of experience from the consoles that you already have because if you have downloaded the games waiting from four seconds to six seconds doesn't mean anything you don't waste a huge amount of time yeah of course the internal speed is high i get it I also took my notes, so you can go for Kingston Renegade Fury series, which have 6,000 megabyte per second. So you can upgrade your M2 SSD for your PlayStation 5 with the fastest way, but the price will go up. I am talking about price performance balance here. So that's why I recommend this Kingston M2, the series SNV2S. Don't forget about this. You can only get away with two terabytes. It's also more than enough. What I'm going to be using these devices is uh, one other scenario is the, for the laptops because laptops nowadays have decreased their size like they get thinner every day like think about the Huawei MateBook and some Asus Zephyrus series so also Lenovo has thinner laptops by, by going thinner they got rid of many things many upgrade possibilities many ultra thin ultrabooks or 14 inch 13 inch laptops don't have second m2 slot so if you buy 250 gigabytes of storage when you first purchase the item you only have the one m2 slot so you gotta upgrade it when you upgrade it you gotta go for biggest size right because you only have one drive so you should be going at least one terabyte or above in this series to get uh, enough space if you're doing video editing like me or is so also designing from uh, 3D uh, and also 2D space 
if you're doing color grading and video editing like me, you definitely need more than one terabyte. So go for two or four in my case, but it's up to you what you want to do with your PC. And also you could upgrade your laptop with one or two terabytes and get the four for external usage. By, uh, by, uh, what I mean by that is if you can use a type C external casing for this SSD series, then you can use these devices as an external storage. You can also video edit from them and also you can get your backup. Since it's a four terabyte, it's easy to uh, back up a one or two terabyte laptop a couple of times, then you don't have to worry. These SSDs are shockproof, you know, because they are SSDs, there is nothing mechanical in them. So just find yourself a Kingston SSD or any kind of uh, M2 in that matter. But for the price, I recommend the Kingston and for the reliability. And one other thing, you, you have to find yourself a Type-C converter box uh, enclosure, but don't forget about this. You have to find it USB Type-C GAN 2 uh, plus 2. Like you have to go for the fastest one because this is 3,500 megabyte per second. Otherwise, if you go for regular Type-C converters, you only can get 1,000 megabyte per second, which means it cannot use the speed of this M2 SSD drive. I am coming at the end of the video. I will be testing this M2 drive with the system that I got. It's an AMD Ryzen, uh, I think it's about 5600X CPU. So I will be benchmarking it. In the end of the video, you'll be watching the benchmark videos. For my opinion, get a one or two terabyte. For the PlayStation 5, definitely two and above. Uh, if you're wondering about the Xbox One X, uh, sorry, Xbox Series X and Series S, I've watched a couple of the videos at YouTube, uh, which I trusted. Uh, they uh, recommend uh, Xbox is not upgradable yet. Maybe firmware upgrades in the future will make these things available. And I see Xbox space for the M2 is shorter, so you can't fit this in the Xbox next gen uh, consoles, but you can externally add Xbox uh, series. So if you have an Xbox series X, which I would love to have one in the uh, next couple of months. So you can upgrade the capacity of your series X and hope to see in the next video. Just I'm going to be leaving you with the benchmarks. Bye from home cinema and tech review.